Will lithium stop Alzheimer's disease? The promising results from research in mice. People with Alzheimer's disease have lower levels of lithium in the brain. Compared to healthy people, which leads to cognitive decline the results from new research. The deficiency of this element seems to accelerate the accumulation amyloid plagues and memory loss, but potentially can be reversed by supplementing lithium. Lithium in its pure form is a silver-white metal the lightest of known metals. It's a highly reactive and combustible element, of this there is no reason in nature in a free state. You can find it in low concentrations in the form of different compounds, for example in rocks determined pegmatite, brine, or clay. It also occurs in low concentrations in water sea and drinking water, which falls through rocks containing lithium. We also eat it together with various vegetables, such as cabbage, tomatoes, or potatoes. It is also found in cereals or fish. Perhaps the most famous use of it is batteries in our electronic devices, but it is also used for the product glass and ceramics or for the production of lubricants. Lithium is also used in medicine. Lithium compounds have been used as normotimic drugs, i.e. medicines stabilizing mood disorders and are used in affective disease bipolar. According to recent research, this element also has potential for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. In the publication that appeared on Journals of Nature, scientists suggest that low level of this element contributes to cognitive deterioration and can be reversed by supplementing with lithium. At least that's what the mouse research showed. Previous studies have revealed a link between lithium and the disease of Alzheimer's. A study published in 2022 in PLOS Medicine it has shown that people supplementing with lithium have almost half the risk the development of Alzheimer's disease compared to people who did not. From from a new edition from last year, published in the International Journal of Bipolar Disorders, suggested a link between lithium in drinking water and reduced risk of dementia. This work seemed to indicate that lithium has an effect neuroprotective, which prompted scientists to propose it as a cure for the neurodegenerative diseases. However, the findings from previous studies come from observational work and has not shown that lithium can change course its Alzheimer's disease. Small clinical trials in patients depot yielded mixed results. To fill this gap with Bruce Yankner of Harvard Medical School he checked whether changes in lithium concentrations in the brain could affect cognitive function. Together with colleagues, he analyzed 27 metal levels in the brain's 285 of the dead. 94 of them were diagnosed during life with Alzheimer's disease and 58 it had mild cognitive impairments, which are the precursor to the disease. Other participants showed no signs of cognitive decline in a moment of death. Analyses showed that lithium was the only element about less concentration in the brains of both people with Alzheimer's disease and those with people with Alzheimer's disease mild cognitive dysfunction that may precede the disease, in comparison with healthy people. Level of lithium in the prefrontal cortex the key area of the brain for memory and decision making it was on average about 36% lower in people with Alzheimer's disease than in people without cognitive decline. In people with the mild impairment of cognitive function was about 23%. Lower. We suspect that this is due to many factors environmental, food, genetics, etc. Yankner said. Further analyses of the brain tissue of these two groups showed that lithium accumulated amyloid plagues, despite the general deficiency of lithium in the brain. Alzheimer's disease is associated with accumulation in the brain of beta amyloid and another protein called tau. Incorrect amount of beta amyloid and tau protein it seems to play a big role in the development of the disease. 
These proteins start concentrate in the brain decades before the onset of the first symptoms, such as memory loss. Their accumulation disrupts the communication of nerve cells and over time leads to progressive brain damage, neuron loss, and finally to death. Scientists also reach for different biobanks for tissue samples it's a brain. These analyses confirmed results from brain studies 285 of the dead. This prompted scholars to put forward the idea that all metals in the human brain are present in a carefully calibrated ecosystem, and amyloid plagues disturb this balance by accumulating lithium and removing part of it from the body. It is the reduced availability of lithium that may contribute to symptoms such as memory loss. These findings prompted scientists to seek a form of lithium, which could increase the natural level of lithium in the brain without binding to amyloid plagues. In research in genetically modified mice in the target of developing amyloid plagues and symptoms similar to Alzheimer's disease, adding a small dose of a compound called lithium oritin to drinking water by all life prevented the development of plagues as well as the accumulation of tau protein. Aging mice at low doses of lithium orotate during tests with object recognition and finding the way in the labyrinth they did well, as if lithium supplementation completely reversed the loss of memory. Scientists have also found no evidence that lithium orotane is toxic to the kidneys and thyroid grit of rodents, even after prolonged use which occurs in treatment of lithium carbonate bipolar disorder. Moreover, when scientists fed mice prone to development symptoms similar to Alzheimer's disease with a poor diet in lithium, observed clear decrease in cognitive function and greater accumulation of amyloid plagues than in mice on a normal diet. If these findings are confirmed in the study's clinical, implications can be far-reaching. Alzheimer's disease affects more than 55 million people around the world, but researchers say if not no cure will be invented, by the middle of a century of the sigma already there are more than 150 million people. More and more people are collapsing, and it is associated this is with increasing life expectancy. Unfortunately, it has now become the fifth most common the cause of death around the world. Available on the market, the therapies slow down the decline of cognitive functions, but do not stop it.